Hi. Hi. Um, yeah, so I, I really appreciated our session, um, and I also am following up here with what my breakthrough was after our session, um, but at first I want to just touch on how our session was really empowering and how I was able to really um, connect to the parts in my health that I'm having challenges with, the parts in my life that I'm having health challenges with, and um, you were able to confirm that in the assessment, plus a whole bunch of other stuff that I wasn't quite aware of, and they all tied into it. And so I think that was really amazing that we were able to find not just the physical elements, but even the spiritual, the emotional, and the root of my childhood and my behavior, my learned behavior that I picked up from my, you know, the world around me and my environment. And how that plays into effect with my current status, my current health status. And so I think that was like the most shocking to me. Um, and some of the stuff you said to me in my assessment was a little bit um, frightening, you know? And that really brought up the need for me to go really deep into my awareness of how this is created and what I can do to heal myself. And so, um, yeah, I just I just wanted to say Thank that. you. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Um, you said it was frightening, and some people may, may hear that and be also scared. Um, other, what's a, what was empowering, and, and when you say frightening, was it bad frightening? Was it? Oh, I mean, frightening like, oh gosh, I didn't know that that could be going on in my body. The okay. severity brings up the need to really deal with it. So, so, so do you, would you say it brought in the forefront of your mind? Well, um, what's going on? What's, go, what's actually, what's actually going, going, on? going on? And then either like the, the course of action, either it, something is done and it right. gets better or something's not done and it, gets, it progresses the way it's going and getting worse. It, right. You know, I'd rather know what's going on than it progress and me not know. Oh, I see. And so that's the liberating part of it. But you know, just hearing something for the first time that you think could be going on, but then it's confirmed, can feel a bit alarming and frightening. And then to know that you're able to see it and be aware of it and work through it is the liberating part of it. And so um, there were a lot of things that came up in our session and mm -hmm. it brought up a lot of child, mem child memories and also a lot of my um, first memories in certain areas of my life as a teenager. And um, it, was, it was really powerful to feel um, that I could remember something for the first time that I thought I blocked out. I actually completely blocked out because of its painful memories. And so in our session, based on the assessment um, and the severity of what I was hearing and the mm -hmm. overwhelm I could feel you um, experience while you were assessing me, mm -hmm. I felt the need to really um, kind of wake up and, and wake up into how did this get here? And then we talked about the issues I've had postpartum um, with my health um, and and how that was actually correlated to this memory as a child or as a teen. And so that whole memory came up and I was able to feel those mem memories and remember them. And that was really, really mm -hmm. powerful. You know, that was really powerful. Mm -hmm. And then after our session, I actually called this friend of mine from high school and said, I need to talk to you. This is really important. Mm -hmm. For my health and for my life, I need to share this with you. And I was able to share with her some of the memories I had that were really inappropriate that had to do with our relationship mm -hmm. as friends and what had occurred in our relationship. And it was really empowering. I knew that I was doing it for myself. I was not doing it for her or to perform or to get any kind of response. I was doing it for myself. And mm -hmm. it really... It really helped me to to feel complete with that memory and so not only uh, did you assess me and, and help me see things not only did I reflect and remember a memory that I totally blocked out not only did I call this person and resolve it within myself and then forgive her and for perpetrating me um, but I was also able to forgive myself mm -hmm. and I was I was then um, able to heal myself because the issue that I've been having with um, I'll, I'll get up close and personal an anal fissure I've had for on and off since I've had my baby about two months after I had my baby I got it. How old is um, your baby? He's a year. A year old. So I've had it for about 
10, 11 months now. Yeah. Maybe a little over a year. So um, it's been completely healed. Um, I, I was taking cow mag, like I told you, um, eight to 12 capsules a day, every single day for every single time I ate a meal. Yeah. And um, you said to me in the assessment, you actually don't need more than two. And, and you actually only need magnesium. You don't even need calcium, magnesium. And I actually bought just magnesium and I stopped doing the cow mag completely. And I just did the herbs you gave me and I did the digestive enzyme just one each time I eat. And I've had zero problems going to the bathroom. I've had zero reopenings, which has occurred before. Um, and I feel completely empowered. Like I made a huge shift in my life. I know that I did um, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and on every level. And so, yeah, I'm just so wow. grateful. Oh, that is incredible. Can <laughs> I ask a question? Yeah. As, um, anyone who may see this, um, you know, we did an analysis of your eyes, your tongue, and your teeth. Uh, what was that like other than the emotional parts on the physical parts? What was that like to have someone you didn't tell me what was going on? Yeah, um, but I could see certain things. Uh, what was that like and um, Were you shocked or surprised uh, or yeah. did you believe that I could see what I was seeing? Well at first what I thought I saw you doing was I thought you were just being uh, I thought you were just psychic and seeing things in my in my life in my history but you mentioned 70% of it is actually scientific, you know? And so when you looked at certain parts of my eye and noticed that I had broken my, my, my fibula, you know, that was just beyond me because um, as a medical intuitive on the Board of Education for the Complementary Integrative Medicine Medical Academy, I've always been a, um, a medical intuitive teaching other doctors how to um, assess things emotionally. And, um, but I've never, been able to do the physical part and so um, I just can intuit what people are going through but the, the fact that you were able to get the finite details of everything on a physical level that's just based on science and based on well this line is there that means this is happening if it's at six o'clock it means this is happening and if I mean just the things you were able to assess that I already was aware of that you confirmed mm -hmm. you know you knew I had adrenal stuff. You knew I had just every little thing that you brought up <laughs> was just so mm -hmm. on point. And so um, it's just an incredible diagnosis that I recommend anybody take. I actually spoke to my father about it, and he's going to be doing a session 